Hi, welcome to another ET4U demonstration. In this video, we'll be explaining the falling mug question from our student survey. We asked you to predict what would happen when a mug, a heavy object, is tied to a nut or paper clip, a light object, by a piece of string with this pen in between them, and the small object is released. Here's a look at the initial conditions of the problem. What respondents typically predict is that the mug will drop and carry the nut straight with it around the pen. Here's what actually happens. As you can see, the mug falls a short distance but is quickly stopped after the string ends up wrapping around the pen several times. This wrapping is what generates enough friction to hold the weight of the mug, with just a small amount of tension applied by the nut. What's going on here? To understand the problem, we need to bring up two important concepts. The first explains why the nut takes so many turns by the end of its travel, and is the conservation of angular momentum. What people don't take into account in their predictions is that when the nut is released, it too has some component of downward acceleration along with the mug. This makes it rotate around the pen, and so it has some amount of angular momentum as well. The magnitude of angular momentum is proportional to the distance between the nut and the pen, and the speed at which the nut is traveling. However, as the mug falls, the distance between the nut and the pen decreases. This means, in order for angular momentum to be conserved, that the rotation speed of the nut must increase. This increase is actually big enough that by the time the nut gets close to the pen, it will have made several turns around the pen. So now we know why so many turns of the string are made. Why does this allow the weight of the mug to be held? There's different tensions on either side of the string still. The second concept we'll talk about relates to friction, and it's the capstan equation. It explains why, with a few turns of rope, you can moor a several thousand pound ship to a dock. We relate a loading tension to a holding tension. The loading tension is equal to the holding tension multiplied by e to the power of the coefficient of friction and the number of turns that the string makes expressed in radians. You can see that once theta reaches a critical value, the tensions are balanced and the weight of the mug can be held. So that's it for this video. Let us know what you thought of the explanation, if there was anything we could have done better. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from ET4U. Thanks for watching.